Hello and welcome back uh, to this little uh, power up quest I guess. I guess there's going to be some kind of new ability or something. Uh, be before I sort of get going with this, uh, Sea of Stars won best indie game at the gold jo Golden Joystick. So let's have just a, a little watch of the, the clip for that. Best indie game. And the winner is... Sea of Stars! Ladies and gentlemen, give our winner a round of applause as they head to the stage. Thank you very much, specifically to that table over there. Um, unfortunately, the Sabotage team couldn't be here today, uh, but on behalf of the development team and everyone at Kowloon Knights, uh, just wanted to say a huge thank you uh, to everyone uh, in the studio who made the game possible. They pour so much love and, and time and effort into this game. Uh, it really is a labor of love. They also wanted to say a huge thank you to the community, especially those that backed the game early. Uh, and really supported them, um, as well as all of the partners, who many of which are here today. And finally, a thank you to both the Golden Joysticks and to all of the other nominees uh, who they are with. So thank you ever so much. And honestly, I, I can't give you a more deserving game so far. I, I feel like I'm only scratching the surface of where I'm up to in the story, but like, it is stunning. And you really need to play it to believe it. Um, I need to get back to this shrine, so it seems like I'm going to have to climb back up the coral cascades. Yeet! Okay. This feels like the natural next thing to do. Oh, it's a fast travel, that's nice. I wasn't expecting a fast travel to be honest. Let's save, just in case it ends up being a dungeon, or boss, whatever. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love puzzles. <coughs> Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. So I believe so. I nearly pushed it then. I'm gonna guess it teleports back unless it lands on the desired block. No worries, eh? What? Do I have to leave a pattern?
Oh, it marks them in a row. Okay. Yeah, I actually like that puzzle, it was very different. Soon rank? Oh, that sounds cool as hell. <coughs> oh, it seems to be doing something more as well. Okay, that's all there was to that. Do you know what, it might be worth just visiting the Town again first. There was a chest that I missed right at the start of the game, which is annoying. Right, let's have a see what Moon Cradle's like. There's a couple of chests. Please don't look at the mess. I sewed this small field on my own, I'm really proud of it. I've just took the peppers. <laughs> the crops are growing around great as always. The stories about soil having some magic in it must be true. So it only seems that way. 25 gold. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Tomatoes. The crops will be good this year. Ah, okay. Get rid of all the vines. Oh, kind of like spiky nettle tentacles. Shop, there's no reward for that. What did I miss? Okay, I mean, fair enough. There's a fisherman in town, said he was looking for a place to settle. Oh, this could be him. No way, you cleared all the thorns. It's so nice of you to help like that. I see, haven't you forgotten, re forgotten your roots? Get it? Roots? Yeah. Anyway, here's a little something for you. Ah, okay. Right, okay. That, that, that's my answer. One for the collection. This is where we originally like trained. It doesn't seem like there's more to this room, to be honest. <coughs> Can you just... No. There's another chest that's going to bug me. But let's talk to some people as well. Oh, hello there. I'm a travelling fisherman currently looking to settle down. Now that I've seen it all, I'd like to run a fishing house somewhere relaxing. The perfect place, you say? Well, I'll be onwards to Murph then. Yeah. Grand's food is amazing. I bet she taught Gal. Take care of yourselves and don't overdo it, hmm? Does not do to push oneself too much. I love the, I love the band. The band's so good. Right, let's... Uh, please don't look at the mess. Okay. It's going to be up the way up. To the Solstice Shrine. Not the Solstice Shrine, the Academy, Zenith Academy. 
Moon Cradle is so peaceful. Let's just have a wander in the last corners. We're doing great on supplies. Ugh, I'm supposed to pile all the leaves into that pile of twigs for later. That's like a bonfire thing. Or it seems to be. Hey, you did it. Thank you so much for your help. Here, you can have this. Yeah, two ra rainbow conchers. might get a story from this. Oh, sweet, okay. Cabbages. I still can't believe you solstice warriors already. It feels like you just arrived a couple of years ago. And the last thing is this chest that bugged me right at the start. Music sheet one. That's a win. Okay. I want to check up the mountain trail as well because I'm sure there was a shrine or something up on the mountain trail. Aha! I knew it. Lovely. So that's three so far. Aha! Here's another shrine. What is this? What could this be? Right, okay, so that seems to be everything done on the first island, which is nice. Okay, there's like a cliff edge that we've gone down. Let's... I will head towards that star in a second. There's an option to enter the boat. I'm curious. <clears throat> Not done this yet. But all the supplies we need. Oh, hi, what will it be? Alright, so that's how I set sail again. I'm glad I joined the crew. The air is always so good. Lots of old stuff we may not need. Val Trade says I can figure it out on my own. Let's go where the party's at. What Tryland is in the southeast area. There's a mysterious tower sticking out of the ocean right next to it. Yolanda is the best boss I've ever had. That's a good boat we got. Just got to treat it well. <laughs> oh, there's a wheels table. Hi, oh, fancy a game of wheels? Done one in this episode, I won't do two. I'll keep that in mind though. Do you know what? I've got a new artifact. Let's see what this new tail is. Yeah. It was as com compelling as invitations could get. All of the best artisans the world over received it. A personalised letter signed by the mysterious Great Eagle. Enclosed with directions, along with a promise of a worthwhile endeavour and a touch of magic. They gathered en masse on a barren island to the southwest, hoping to meet the mysterious Great Eagle who had signed their invitations. But all they found when they arrived were three vials, two of which were sealed. When they opened the first vial, it became clear to all that there was even more to the Great Eagle than what the stories had shared. As the cork was removed, a solar eclipse occurred, and the magical light flew in above, from above the sky, reshaping the pinion chiller into a crescent. At the end of its dance, the light coalesced on the cliffside and gave birth to a tree so beautiful it appeared to belong in a dream. The celestial willow rose up while the grass turned to its signature purple hue. And as if the magic had spoken directly to their minds, the builders knew exactly what they had to do. They would build a ta the town of Moon Cradle and hold a festival by the celestial willow twice a year, in expectation of the great eagle's visit. Unless they happened to be born in Moon Cradle, the children of the solstice would never know their real parents, so that no one would feel different or rejected, Moon Cradle was built around one core tenant community. They built a common dormitory for everyone, along with a single shared dining hall. Zenith Academy was clearly visible in all of their minds. They built it 
but I had no idea how to give it its final touch. That was when the second vial uncorked itself. Glowing greens flew out and embedded themselves into Zenith Academy's foundation, enchanting it with levitation magic. The school in the sky was born. As if to celebrate the builder's efforts, the third seal was undone, and out the tiny vial flowed a seemingly endless stream of mist. It permeated Evermist Island, giving it its name. In the end, a peculiar voice spoke, in it, spoke to their minds. The voice provided guidelines for an edu for the education of Solstice Warriors and stressed the importance of seeking out the Elder Mist once the training was complete. As the voice grew faint, the free vials disappeared. Since that day, the people of Moon Cradle have held the festival to welcome the children, children of Solstice, taking it upon themselves to nurture them until they come of age. Solstice Warriors would come and go, protecting the world while attempting to to fulfil the prophecies bestowed upon them by the Elder Mist. As the battle continues between the Dwellers and Solstice Warriors, Moon Cradle represents the hope that someday Guardian Gods may rise and bring about lasting peace. The end. It's cool, it's cool to get like a little bit of background story. Sweeping is a full-time job. The second, the second I'm done it is worth, worth starting over. Oh, Gal's got his own little kitchen. Still can't believe we have our own ship now. This is awesome. That's so fun. Right. Let's say it's a, I'm gonna go to this island for a little bit. Let's go. You know what? Stay on track. <laughs> right, okay, this is where we should be. Jungle path. Watcher Island. The hidden city of the Dokari should be somewhere beyond this jungle. We got the coral hammer, let's do this. Let's just have a nosy around. Oh, there we are. Sapphire ore, that'll help when I'm shopping later. I think the music sheets are for the band, which obviously they play while you're playing wheels, so it makes sense for those. They're, they're, they're like a fun bonus. They're definitely enemies. <laughs> uh, let's do a cross out. Oh, See what these ultimate attacks are like. And what, um, it's probably going to happen in a boss fight, isn't it? I don't think it'll happen in a normal fight. Not not when I'm ending them that quicker, especially. Let's around this place. This. Ooh, okay. You're interested. Garnoy. Got a lot of health. That's about to do something. Change, eh? 
Wanna try Sunrang? Too soon, then. Yeah, perfect damage. It's a long fight. I haven't done any cooking for a while, to be fair. Oh, Peach Strudel. Okay. That, considering it heals MP, it's probably better for a boss fight. Do you know what? Let's, considering it's here, let's cook and camp because I've just got like quite a few nice materials. Uh, roast sandwiches are really good for healing. Let's get two or three of them if I can. Jam for MP. Mushroom scramble's got like it's got two uses, I suppose. And I won't use them, but I will rest. Let's save. Some damage. They've got manageable health, though, by the looks of things. Zayo's still always the one to end up with the least health. Weird, this island feels like a little bit more open than previous areas. Okay, one left. I thought I bought that then, but I definitely didn't. Bam! The MP from them is really good. I'm going to say it's probably unwise to go in that water down there. Why is this here? Seems like a dead end. Okay. Oh, 
with some tomatoes over next. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it did go up here, yeah. Right. I'm gonna have to probably go into the cave. Um, uh, yeah, seems like it. Ooh. Mega girl. Do you know what? What's heightened his defense. His defense is a magic defense, isn't that equal? Okay. Huh. Okay. Maybe I do need to use the current. The music's like really peaceful here. I appreciate that, it's very cute. Ooh, some jam. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was what I had to do. It's at least progressed me up here. I love this. I love how weird it is to traverse. What do you do? Oh. Well hidden. You know what? Be more defensive this time, eh? Uh, let's use Gar. Let's hurl. It's so useful to have them like next to each other. Shock on the faces, it's quite cute actually. But Zale's on low health again. I just gave you the best, well, the best armor we've come across so far. Oh, I shouldn't have been charged up for that. Oh well. Instant. Beautiful. Okay, 
I, I didn't comment on it because I was like a bit confused by the puzzle, but there was a beautiful little like Buddhist style statue in that area then. Okay. Never trust waterfalls. Exactly. What's this? This mural depicts some kind of curse involved in a flower. Stone tablet piece. Okay. Ah, cool. Never would have guessed. Right, let's go up to the uh, first place you would go up. <coughs> It's so simple, but it's actually pretty effective. Nice. There's a shortcut. That's the statue, and I have literally just spotted a rainbow conch. Maybe it's doing something with that um, magic thing. Yeah, my night and day thing, my bumpers weren't working, so but I don't think it has anything to do with that. It doesn't seem like it does. It's kind of funny actually, the, like the the vegetables sometimes blend in with the environment, which, which you can sometimes miss them because of that. <clears throat> right, let's carry on. I'm looking for a hidden. There's like a path there. Talk. There's no need for you, for you to see this errand through. What's the matter? Getting scared? My, aren't we feisty? We do not have to quarrel. Simply, simply hand over the coral hammer and we'll be on our way. Come and get it then. Three. Commence. Was not expecting this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and get boss music. Oh, oh, you get two sets of attack. Let's see if they can go closer together. I'm going to focus on one because, uh, ooh, ooh, okay. There's not a doubt in my mind 
these guys are definitely previous Solstice Warriors. I feel like I need some delay attacks. Yeah. No, I'll keep you out. Okay, I can't attack him while he shields up. Should have learned this before, shouldn't I? Oh, Zale's down. That's not good. Uh, let's swap anyway. I don't want to do a Lunar Shield and then uh, Zay will not benefit, so... See an ultimate at least. Let's get rid of the guy on the left, hopefully. Vespertine cannons! <laughs> what? Oh my god! That's hilarious. I love that. Right, okay. I guess we're just going for the Lunar Shield anyway. <laughs> the ultimate attacks are awesome. I'm going to guess they take the place of what a um, summon would do. These guys are hard. <sighs> are they both attacking now? Oh no. Oh, this is my first. That's my first wipe. <laughs> wow. That is tough. So this is where the um, 
adventure side of the episode is going to end, I'm going to do the wheels table from um, Moon Cradle. So uh, if you don't want to watch the wheels section, I'd say what, stop watching the episode here. But if you want to carry on and watch the uh, wheels table, here it is. Ooh. Want to play some wheels? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Mage and I quite like the knight to be honest, but I'll focus on the mage. Let's see what goes on. This feels like it'll be an easy table actually because of the knight, because I can block that quite consistently. That's a good turn for the mage. Come on, one more square. Yeah! Really good turn for the mage. It has leveled up though. I'll take that. It's quite a defensive turn. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. Gives my sorcerer, sorcerer a definite turn. Healing though. I am ahead though, I've got to remember that. Yep. Everything else can be down to chance. It's quite good defences. Okay. Got a level up, that's nice. Me basically made the night faster. Okay, that's a bit of a pants turn to be honest. Oh, oh that's a big hit. It's a pretty big hit in night. Another square? Yeah, go on then. Depending on the combination of things you end up facing, <laughs> depends on <laughs> how your strategy is, which which actually makes the game pretty fun. But that's a really scary amount of damage that can do. Well, I'd be moronic to pass that chance. No, no, I'm not using my knight. I'm not going to win this if I do. So long as I have a wall up here, I should get through. Oh, I need a wall so bad. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> I forgot about the bombs. I need a wall. I need my mage to come through as well. Come on, Meiji. I could still win this. There's worse turns to have. Turn. Oh, the bomb. I lost my bomb. That's so annoying. Just, yeah, two bombs. Lost by two bombs. Okay. That's weirdly quite a kind of defensive strategy. I kind of need to play more offensively, I think. I win. Yeah, you do. Let's go again. <clears throat> Go mage. Let's try archer. Too much to the archer. I've not really seen the archer in action that much. Okay, it's a magey turn. Down to chance. Okay, not a great turn to be honest. Oh, I'm taking a hit. I wonder if the uh, things that, the frequency of things that appear change based on what you've got. Okay, we got some water at least. We need it. boost the wall because that knight is about to go. Let's keep going with the mage. Lots of level up going on on their side. Oh, that healing. Okay, 
no wall. It's fine. Although I, no, I am now terrified of that night. Wall, please. Okay. Nope. We're just not doing it. If that night goes, I'm done. Wall, wall, wall. I needed it. Oh, it's ready to do a bomb. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, sick of seeing your heal, man. Uh oh. Now I'm dead. This doesn't seem tough on the first <laughs> impression, but actually, pretty hard. Seems in this battle, you uh, you need to focus more on leveling your units up and taking whatever the game gives you, because they just get stronger no matter what almost. <clears throat> Especially the fact that the cleric speeds everything up, so Yeah, I'm pleased with that actually the first turn. That's a decent start. Their knight's going to attack me if I don't have a wall up. I now have a wall up. <clears throat> oh, I'll take all of that actually. It's a good level up turn. Not a productive attack turn, but... They've all up before me. I need another wall! Hmm. Come on, hammer. Yes! That's the turn I wanted. Yep. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I've leveled up offensively and they've leveled up defensively first. Gotta keep that wall going. Hmm. Gotta stop them healing too much as well. That's about to evolve. Uh, let's see what happens. Gives me an attack on their wall at least. And levels me up. Okay. I need a wall up. <clears throat> oh, I should have saved the hammer. Oh, I should have saved the hammer. I'm taking a hit now because of that, I think. Yep, I am. Damn it.
Okay. Big wall. <laughs> No. Yeah, I'd rather, rather level my mage up, to be honest. They got a head start, but it's not over, and now I'm in a actually primarily offensive position. <coughs> Moves I can. Uh, go on, I'll take a up, slight upgrade to my mage as well. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm doing a pretty big hit though. It's close. Ended me. Oh no, that. Oh no, it's just two. Ouch. Yes, immediately, yes. Yes, immediately, yes. Come on, give us a square. Okay. We're now gold, though. I could still pull this back with one hit. <laughs> That's a, such a good turn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, no. I'm one hit off. Oh, my God. This is so close. <laughs> so hard. Again, again. I'll keep on doing this. <laughs> I really want to win. Um, go on, I'm used to my mage being on that side now. I actually preferred having the night out. To be honest, it advances my mage a little. Now I've got a wall up, I can actually try to be a little more offensive. Okay. Cleric looks fun to use.
Okay, I need a wall up again. Actually, kind of chuffed with that turn. I would have liked some defenses, like. It's fine. Uh, I'll take you and you, you and you, for some defenses. Okay, even more defenses. Ooh, I get a direct hit though. Sweet. Okay. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Defo lock that in. Yeah, let's just go with that. My mage. Oh, yeah, that's a tower. all over the place turn. Go on, I'll just go for that. At least they're vulnerable. I think that went fairly well. Plus, I'm sure I get a direct hit from that, right? Oh no, I'm not quite moving. Okay. chances. If they get a hit, I'm done. Oh, although two mage hits. This is close. down to chance. Come on. Okay, we got a wall. The wall saved us. <sighs> what are the chances of that, to be fair? Come on. My hit. Oh, that's it. Bloody hell, it took long enough. <laughs> what do I get for this? Give me some cool. Yeah, you won. Here's your prize. Silver wheel. they actually do and after all that uh, struggling to uh, 
<laughs> win again at wheels. I finally got there. So uh, we'll call that a day for today. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.